Hello, it's good to see you. Today we're going to be taking a look at some items that I bought today at a yard sale. This is um, this was a yard sale that took place at one of the local Quaker churches. They always have neat stuff. Uh, they do it twice a year and I don't always go um, but every time I do go I always find neat stuff and I found some pretty cool stuff today. So we're going to take a look at um, the items that I bought. Um, before I do that though, I want to show you one thing. Um, one of you has already seen this. Um, you know, I made I made a couple of wreaths. Well, I wanted to try to make some more just for fun. I mean, not for any particular reason. And um, I made this one and one of my subscribers sent me a message on my Facebook page by Messenger to show me a wreath that he had made and he's going to make more and it was it was kind of cool because when I got the message I was actually working on one myself so we shared pictures of um, I showed him pictures of the wreath that I was working on and we talked about um, other things that you could make but here's the wreath that I just made um, I think I'm just gonna save it I'm gonna put it up in the attic with my, uh, my wreath collection and save it for later. But look, I just want to show you how pretty this turned out. Now, I used the same method for this one that I did the fall wreath. I have, um, but I have light blue, dark purple, and white. And then I have some purple flowers in here. Light blue ribbon and some blue flowers here. And it just, I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. It turned out really nice. It's really big. Um, I think I'm just going to save it. Uh, maybe use it next spring or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it turned out really pretty. I, oh, there's a big um, purple butterfly right here too. It's, uh, it has mesh wings and rhinestones on the wings. It's really cool. So that I didn't get that at the yard sale. I made that. I just wanted to show you. I was at Dollar Tree and I was looking at some of their mesh and they had um, purple and blue. Today I found some dark blue mesh and I bought it <laughs> and I'm going to try to do something with that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it but I th I'm going to try to make something with it. And they also had these really pretty um, pink flowers for Christmas. They were kind of like poinsettias but they were pink and they had pink glitter on them and I bought some. They had them in pink and white and gold. I got some of the pink and white ones and some mesh that's kind of like a bluish gray color. I'm kind of thinking about taking the bluish gray mesh with maybe a little bit of white and silver mesh, making a wreath out of that, and then decorating it with the white and pink flowers. I don't know, I'm gonna try that later, I think. Okay, now we're actually gonna look at some stuff from the churchyard sale. I have one thing in my lap, it's really big, and there was really nowhere good to put it. It's so big, I don't really know how I'm going to show it to you. I think this is the coolest thing I found today. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's really neat. It's on a curtain rod. It's a tapestry. And I got it for $4. And there's a piece of masking tape on here. Let's take that off. It, it comes with this little adjustable curtain rod. I'm going to try to hold it up where you can see it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not. It's massive. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. Um, check it out. I hope you can see that. <laughs> it's, um, it's a tapestry of all of these women and they're walking through the woods. I'm going to roll it down a little bit. And they have all these birds flying around. It's the coolest tapestry. Look at this thing. That is just so cool. Um, let's see. It looks like it was, um, it was made in Hendersonville, North Carolina. I just realized there's a tag on the back. Let me see. It has 12 women and it's a wall hanging. Uh, 36 inches by 26. Um, let's see. The Manual Woodworkers and Weavers Incorporated, and it was made in uh, made in Hendersonville, North Carolina. That's really cool. 
I just thought this was cool. I don't, I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but I, I kind of want to put it somewhere. I just think it's really neat. And it was only $4. Okay, so that was, um, that, I think that was my favorite thing. But I wanted to show you that first because it was, it was in my lap. <laughs> now, the way they do their yard sales, they set everything up in different areas. Um, out front, outside, they have uh, furniture items, larger things. Usually they'll have some plants for sale, like you can buy iris bulbs or um, chrysanthemums, um, some fall plants, things like that, or seeds, you know, tomato seeds, and you know, just for a vegetable garden, you can get different seeds. And then there's a covered area and under the covered area they have these long tables with all kinds of just weird stuff I mean it's, it's not weird but I mean you can find anything it's just smaller things on the table and what they did was well when I got there um, you buy a bag for two dollars and they give you a bag you get, they give you a bag for two dollars and everything you can fit in that bag on those long tables you can have for, you know, for the two dollars. And that's what this is. I purchased this bag here for two dollars. And so then you go up and down, you go up and down the tables, these long tables. And if there's anything that you want, you just, um put it in your bag and it's yours. I always find really cool stuff on these tables. A lot of it is just, it's just junk, you know, stuff that, well, stuff I don't want. Someone else may find it and think it's wonderful. Um, but I found some cool stuff. Maybe we should go ahead and do the bag since I have it in my lap. I found a, I found a Disney World hat. It's a really nice hat. Somebody probably, somebody probably paid like $30 for this hat at Disney World. It has the monorail on it. And Chip and Dale are in the monorail. This is a really nice um, hat with embroidery. And then you have fireworks embroidered onto the front of the hat. It's just a fabric hat in khaki. And it's adjustable back there. And Mickey Mouse on the, on the brim there. A really nice hat. Um, yeah, I thought it was really cool. So I found that. And I found, I guess this is a washcloth. Now these, I use, I like this kind because it has this texture. I use these to wash my car. Um, usually I would just use old washcloths of ours that are just, you know, they're coming apart or they're dingy and all the Clorox in the world won't fix that. Then they become wash rags and I use them to wash the car, scrub up messes on the floor. You know, I reuse them that way. But this one I really like because it's nice and thick and it has this kind of a rough texture to it. So that's really good for scrubbing, you know, like all the dead bugs off my car. I actually just washed my car a couple of hours ago, but I, I just went ahead and used one that I already had. So this will go into my, I have a whole stack of, of things like this and my microfiber cloths that I dry the car with and just things like this to wash it. Okay, let me see. Oh, I was told by my son that this thing is part of an old Gundam set. I don't know. There are more pieces in here. This is just, this was just on top. And it's part of a Gundam something or other. I don't know. He wants it though. He asked if he could have it once I show it to you. I said, sure. It was actually, there was a bunch of this stuff in a box. In a little box on the table. And I just grabbed the whole box and put it in the bag. But this was one of the things in there. Um, there are these other parts that he said were also Gundam. I have no idea. But I guess they all go together. There's this little thing here. And these two pieces. They don't 
feel like they're made out of plastic. It's almost like rubber or something. It's very flexible. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think these are Gundam stuff. I don't know. Oh. I'm pretty sure this is a dog's chew toy. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, it's for it, intended for dog use only. So I guess I can't play with it right now. I love this little pig. I don't want to make the noise, but I kind of do. <laughs> it's louder if you squeeze him really hard. He, he a little rubber pig. He's green with blue dots and when you squeeze him he, he, he makes a little grunt sound. I don't know. I thought it was funny. Um, I had been looking for a, a case like this for my regular glasses and this is perfect. I found one today. This is um, a Ray-Ban case. Just a little case with a snap on it. And it's the perfect size for my glasses at work. I don't have a case at work for my glasses. So, and it's it's lined with black velvet, which is really cool. Um, this, so, this was on the table with all the two long tables with all the stuff. So I said, oh, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. I can, uh, I can keep my glasses in here, my glasses at work, so they're not just sitting out all the time. So that was pretty good. I was happy to find that. I would have paid $2 just for the glasses case. And then in this box of stuff, I found this pair. I didn't even know these were in here. These sunglasses, the box that had the Gundam stuff in it, these sunglasses were kind of down under some stuff. I didn't even see them. Um, they're a little big, but I think I can adjust them. They're actually really nice. Um, I don't know what kind they are, but these are some super cool sunglasses. Um, I, I don't, yeah, I don't know what brand they are, but I like them. <laughs> I didn't even know I had these until I got home, and um, the kids wanted to see what I got. And I was just kind of looking through, and I said, oh, where did these sunglasses come from? They were down in one of the boxes, the little box of stuff I picked up. And I got a couple of squeeze, you know, stress squeezers. A little wool for whatever the heck it is. There, it was really cool. This is from NC State University, College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. It's nice and squishy. It has a nice resistance to it, so you really, you can really squeeze it. It'd be a good stress reliever. Just slowly suffocate the poor guy. So that was in there. And I, I also got a heart from Cone Health. We can squeeze the heart. This is from the Heart and Vascular Center at Cone Health. And you could just massage the heart. Take your nails in there if you want to. Could make it pump. <laughs> you have to actually it's two chambers. You have to do the two sides. <laughs> okay. I found some tiny animals for no reason at all. Here we have a little shark and he's hollow. You can stick your finger in there. Do it like that. Oh my god. He's a beautiful blue color, and he has these little gills here, and two little red nose holes that are very small. He's just as cute as could be. I used to love stuff like this when I was a kid. I had such a remarkable collection of, um, I had a big collection of rubber snakes, and, um, you know, the plastic dinosaurs, I had a ton of those, and I had some sharks, too. I had sharks and lizards. I love stuff like that. I had such a big collection of those. Every Christmas and birthday for so long, I would ask for just stuff like that. 
Um, oh, and I got also a tiny uh, German Shepherd. <laughs> He's very cute. Look at the little baby German Shepherd. He's so cute. He's made of a solid, um, it's like plastic material. It's really cute. I like him. Um, right now I'm looking through this box of stuff. I think this was one of the Gundam things as well. I don't actually know. Um, oh, look, I got, I think it's a humpback whale. He's solid. A little solid humpback whale. It's black and white. And has a little bit of texture to him. Not a lot, just a little bit. It's very cute. Yeah, oh, I would have loved to have had these as a kid. I just, I have so many little animals like that. Um, oh, this is cool, look. I think this was in a Happy Meal. I think this was a, yeah, this was a Happy Meal toy. Um, celebrating 40 years of happiness. This is Star the Unicorn, born February 11th. Come close, I have a secret for you. I wish your dreams and wishes come true. Little, <laughs> this little cute guy here in the little felt, or the of their vinyl feet that kind of you can push them down like that. I love all the little polka dots and the little fur, a little orange on him. It's cute. Um. Oh, these. Um, actually, I bought these separately and just stuck them in the bag after I paid for them. Um, so they wouldn't have to give me another bag or anything. I love Hanes Silk Reflections. And these things are kind of expensive. Um, looks like somebody bought these at TJ Maxx for $3.99. I got them for $0.75. Cents. Um, and they have a little color, it looks like. Um, but I wear these a lot in the wintertime. Um... If I wear if I wear a dress in the wintertime, I always wear a hose under it. Um, I just think it looks better. And it helps keep me warm. <laughs> sometimes I'll wear tights or leggings, but sometimes I also wear these. And I thought 75 cents for um, a pack of those was a, a good deal. This was on the table from House of Anime. Dot com just caught my eye. I love fans. It's actually a very sturdy fan. It's um it's made of all plastic. It has a plastic frame. And then this paper is just glued onto the plastic. You can kind of see the the plastic uh, ribbing in there. Goes all the way across. And then down here. It's actually a really nice fan. <laughs> Sometimes you get these fans and they're um they're kind of floppy, they're not they're not very sturdy. This one is actually really cool. Um I don't know. I thought I thought it was neat. And I found a few Lego pieces. Let's see, I found this one. And well I mean it's it's several pieces put together. I have a little hatch here in blue and this part here, this big part is just white, and then there's this little bit here, and in, the, in these little pieces in here. Um, and then there are a few pieces stuck on the underside. I have a feeling it had something to do with this piece. My younger, well both of my kids love playing with Legos, and they will take pieces from different sets and put them together and make new things. So, um, I didn't know if any of either of them would like to have these, but they were um, these pieces were in that a little box, and they were the main reason I picked up the box because I saw that they were Legos, and uh, I had to get them. I think there's another one in here. Oh, here's another piece of that uh, little Gundam thing. I have to put it back on there. Yeah, yeah, there was a second one. It's it's um, the same as the other one. It's just um, a second one. Okay. Um, oh, do you remember sand art? Did you ever do this as a kid? 
I remember doing this, um, and I think it was in school, we got to do some sand art. They, you know, they give you a little jar or a glass or something, and you have these different colors of sand, and you combine them, and you get, it looks like it got a little, <laughs> looks like this poor little honey bear got shaken at some point, and and got mixed up or they just poured some general sand up there but you have all the different colors looks like he has a tummy ache or something <laughs> the back looks really good you can see the different colors in there you have pink on the bottom there and then orange blue red yellow and then pink again and then this looks like it's dark brown orange a little bit more pink green and orange it's like they started out down here and they were really focused on what they were doing really taking their time but as it went up it's like they lost their patience and they just got bored and they just started pouring whatever in there like who cares it's, it's really like they just lost interest but um this is you know the little honey bears you buy these in the grocery store and they have honey in them i guess somebody just cleaned it out and used it for sand art that was on the table of stuff for two, you know, you buy the bag and get it for two dollars. Um, oh, this. I got an Expo dry erase marker. Dry erase marker eraser. This is not a marker, it's an eraser. Um, that's a nice stuff there. It's plastic. I have one like this, but this top part is made out of um, styrofoam. This one is actually plastic. I don't think I've ever seen one that was plastic. I think I've only had a couple and they were styrofoam. So that was kind of cool. And it was from Expo, which is a good, a good brand. I'm going to check it out. I got this too. This was on the table. Little thing here. It's made in Taiwan, which means it may be kind of old. It may not be. My brother had one of these. Um, yeah, so this this was on the table. It may actually made me think of my brother because, yeah, he had several implements of this type. This little piece rolls like that. Very cool. Um. Oh, and my younger son loves Red Robin restaurants, so um, this was on the table with all the $2 stuff. Little Red Robin Gourmet Burgers glass, so I thought he might like to have it. I really like it because it's nice thick glass. It's just like the glasses that we use every day that I got at Dollar Tree. It's the same type of glass. Um... I don't know, I saw it and I instantly thought of him because he, he likes he likes their cheese sandwiches, their grilled cheese. It's his favorite thing to get there. It's, he talks all the time about how good their grilled cheese is. So I thought he might like to have a red robin glass at home. Okay, oh, one more thing before I get to the box. I found a cool baseball. Look at that. High Toms. High Point Thomasville nice baseball here all stitched together it's very nice I don't think it's ever been used for anything it might be one maybe they were giving them away at game at a, a game or something so it's from High Point in Thomasville okay so this is the last thing in my two dollar bag oh and I get the bag too so I have a little um reusable tote which is great I use those a lot. Alright, so there was this little there was this box on the table and it has a, just a conglomeration of stuff in it. Um, pro Racer. It's just a Pro Racer box and it has all kinds of things in it like, oh this is cool, this little silver thing. <laughs> My younger son saw that and instantly called called dibs on it. He wants to use it for his Lego people. <laughs> he said it would make a good sink. So, or a punch bowl. <laughs> but 
But it's really neat. It has these little feet. Three feet. I would polish it, but I don't think it really needs any polishing. It's actually not bad. But it's cute. It was just this thing. It didn't have a lid or anything on it. It's just this tiny little silver doohickey. And there's a Minecraft TNT block. It's just um, it's hollow plastic. That's all it is. I probably came with one of the... I think my son got some of these with a Minecraft Lego set. You get little blocks like that. Um, there are these coins in here. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can take some of these out. Little, ooh, that one's thick. Um, I'll be honest with you, I do not know what some of these are. This one is plastic. A little thing there. I don't know what it is. Um, here's another one. I think these were things that you trade or something. I don't know. Let me see what this is. Street caps is what this one says. Premium slammer. Street caps. Planet Zed. So I guess these are street caps. And this one is, let me see, American Game Caps, Collector Series, Heavy Metal. Hmm. Has some cool designs on the back. Kind of hard to see it though. It's, 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 yeah. Very interesting little, little piece there. Um, Oh, this was cool. There's a little container of shark teeth in here. Look at the little shark teeth. How cool is that? There are one, two, three, four, five shark teeth in here. Oops. Well, top just came off. I just have some neat little shark teeth. <laughs> I think this is the biggest one here. Sharp. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, let's see. Geo Central. These are shark tooth fossils. Hmm. That's pretty cool. And here's a thing. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a really good one. Yeah. Um. There's a guy in here, a little man, the little, it was a little man, I don't, I don't know, he looks like something off of Spaceballs, but I know that's not it, he looks like Dark Helmet, but he's too tall, um, I don't know who this is, <laughs> it's just a little, a little man, you could pose him, you know, he could, like, be a rocket if he wanted to, you know, or a can can dancer, da 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 da, da like that. Yay! I don't know who he is. Um, oh, here's another one of those bendy swords. This one's yellow. It's a little warped. It's for killing people around corners or something. I don't know. And here is a very well used carabiner that was blue at one time and a lot of the blue has been rubbed off. <laughs> that thing is, wow. I don't think I've ever seen one of these that has been used so much that the, the color has been rubbed off. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, and we have some, oh, we have whistles in here. Here's some nice woven rope here. It's not a bungee cord. It's not stretchy at all. It's just this piece of rope for whatever. Um, oh, oh, this is part of the Gundam thing as well. I don't know what it is, but I was informed that this is part of the Gundam stuff. So, and here's another little, ooh, this is a cool one. Look, it's a 
a little holographic yin yang doohickey and it's really thick it's plastic I guess this is one of those slammers things I don't know you will find if you're a young person you will find that as you get older um, you will go through a period of time and you won't know it until it's passed but as you get older you will go through a period of time where you don't know about stuff there will be stuff from an era that you don't know anything about because it's stuff that younger people were into while you were busy becoming an adult and the younger people will laugh at you for not knowing what it is it happens to everybody and if you're young it's coming just remember when it happens to you because eventually you will run across a thing or hear of someone and not know who it is and a younger person will laugh at the fact that you don't know who they are or what it is it's coming here's a little hex key right there that's a nice one I think it's made of aluminum and I have a whistle this looks like a this looks like a nice whistle like it, this looks like an old whistle like the one that policeman used in um, Frosty the Snowman. It's on a nice cord here. There's a little... You can't see if there's a little wooden bead in there. I'm not going to blow it because I know it's going to be loud. This will actually be my second old whistle. I have another old whistle that's similar to this that my, that my dad gave me. I do apologize. I've spent some time outside today and I think it's the ragweed or something has irritated my throat. It's, it's making me a little hoarse. I'm sorry. Um, this one was made by Franklin. It's kind of hard to see but it has the word Franklin in an arch over the top. But my dad gave me this really old whistle. I don't know where he got it but it's really similar to this one. So now I have two really old whistles. That's kind of cool. I have no idea what I'll ever do with them, but if I ever need a whistle, I now have a whistle and a backup whistle, which is good. I'm really happy about that. That's, that's pretty cool. Okay, from Garrity, we have a keychain light. Okay, so it's not super bright, but it still works. I know people like that. They're not super bright, but they work. As a swivel wanted to. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool if you need a little keychain light. And as the days get shorter, I may wish I had one. Here's another little slammer. It's green, metallic, and black. It's plastic. Here's another, I'm assuming, Gundam doohickey. I don't know where the rest of this Gundam stuff is, but... Oh, here's another one. That was cool. <laughs> it's a little, a little face on it sticking its tongue out. And one last... Ooh, this one's really cool. Wow. The back of it is, is just psychedelic. Here's a swoopy plastic thing. I'm assuming this and this are part of the Gundam stuff. And I have another whistle. It's plastic and there's nothing in it. Maybe it just, it's made a little differently. It's made a little differently. Maybe it whistles because of the way it's cut. It's uh, from Fox 40 Classic. I don't know what that is. But that is it in the box except for what is this? Oh, a nickel. I got five cents back on my purchase. It's like a Discover card. I got a nickel. Okay. So that's the end of the $2 box, I, or the $2 bag. So I got all of that 
for a total of two dollars. I think that's pretty great. I would honestly, I would have paid two dollars just for the old whistle <laughs> or the uh, fossilized shark teeth. Okay. Now I do have other things, bigger things. Well, except for this, this is not big. I found some really pretty, this is bigger than the, the two inch ribbon that we used for the wreaths, for the fall wreath and the Halloween wreath. This is a pretty big ribbon here. Now there's not a lot on here, but it's wired. It has wire on the sides. Um, it's a really pretty gold color. And I really hope, I wanna make a wreath for Christmas that's all gold and burgundy. So I can use this on the gold wreath, and um, I'm just going to need some burgundy burgundy to go with it. But it was only a quarter for this little roll of ribbon, so I'm just going to stash this away with everything I've already bought to make my Christmas wreaths with. Oh, I got this too, look. I got a little battleship, and it's actually metal, and the little turrets move. There are three of them. There's one here, one here, and one here. And it looks really neat. It was only 75 cents, and it's a pencil sharpener. So it just keeps surprising you. It's a battleship pencil sharpener. So you just stick a pencil in there, and you sharpen it. That is one of the niftiest pencil sharpeners I've ever seen. And it's surprisingly heavy. I mean, you could use it as a paperweight. You could, you know, set it on your desk as a decoration. It was only 75 cents. Sounds pretty nifty. I like the little, the little battleship. Oh, and look. I got a little golden unicorn. And you have one, two, three little sparkly discs in here. They're just made of plastic. And the bottom is felt. Let me see. It was 25 cents. Let me see what this says. I can't read the bottom. Okay, I don't know if this is true or not. It says um, Austrian crystal, 24 karat gold plated, crystal creations, KG and C Incorporated USA. 24 karat gold plated. It was only 25 cents. I may have to check and see if that's actual gold. Um, it has a sticker on the back that says KGNC Incorporated 1995. It's pretty cute. And if that's real gold, I imagine it might be worth more than a quarter. Um, I, there's something heavy down here. I want to show you this. I got this cool, super cool, super big serving platter. Now the reason I bought this is because I've been collecting tarnished silver like this. This is silver plate. Um, it's plate. It's uh, not not a silver plate. It is plated with silver. Um, I've been collecting stuff like this because I kind of want to do another video polishing silver. I really enjoyed that. I thought it would be fun to do another one. This is a nice, big, heavy serving tray. Um, it was $5. This was the most expensive thing I bought at the yard sale. But look at all the beautiful detail on this thing. Yeah, it's silver plated. Lots of detail in here to, to polish and clean. The handles are really nice. But I have, I have several other pieces, not this, this is the biggest one, um, they're not this big. Several other pieces that we can polish along with this great big thing. It's surprisingly heavy. <laughs> it's, it's pretty solid. Um, oh, let me show you this. I just thought this was pretty. Look at the beautiful pattern inside this bowl. This is a vintage uh, bowl here. It was one dollar, and the sticker is attached with super glue or something. I see it doesn't want to come off. I have some goo gone that will get that off, 
but isn't that pretty? I love this beautiful, this is dark brown, very dark brown, and then you have the same dark brown in here with these pretty flowers. Now this was made by Mikasa Studio Craft, uh, Arclo 7907, oven to table to dishwasher, um, made in Japan. So it's a really pretty, I imagine this was probably like a whole set, but this is the perfect size for a big bowl of soup. I think this would make a great, a great bowl for like a big bowl of chicken noodle soup. It'll be so good. So, oh, yeah, I'm going to get the sticker residue off, clean it up, and we're going to use it. I think it would make a really good bowl for that. Or salad or whatever. The first thing I thought of, though, was soup. Um, oh, and I found some pieces of jewelry there. And a lot of these, they were all in plastic bags. The first thing I was attracted to with this one was the color, the, the color combination. You have purple, green, amber, and sort of a gold, a lighter gold color. It was only a dollar. I'm going to show it to you. This is a double-stranded necklace. It has a hook closure. Here we are. It's really pretty. These are all glass beads. Very cool. So you take this hook here and you're going to hook it into the little little piece there and it hangs like that. Very, very pretty. I even like the clasp. The clasp is cool. The clasp has a little tiny glass bead right in the middle of it. Very pretty. I just, I love this combination of colors. I love jewel tones like that. It's just, it's my favorite thing. Okay. This one also caught my eye. Now, I love the color blue that we have here. This one was also a dollar. If you live in the area, if you live in the Greensboro area and would like some details on this yard sale, just let me know. I can I can uh, fill you in on the details if you want to go again, if you want to go to the next one. Um, they usually do them in the springtime and then again in the fall. So look at this gorgeous necklace. I love the color of these beads. They are such a beautiful dark blue. And then you have these burnished silver beads in here as well. It's a lovely length. And you have one big burnished silver bead down at the bottom there. There's no pendant. And it just hooks together up here like that. I really love this necklace. It was only a dollar. It's, it's very heavy. Um, I think it's like stoneware or whatever those beads are called. It's not pottery. Um, but it's not glass either. Yeah, it's just absolutely lovely. I, I just, oh, I love it. Some of the beads are round. Some of them are more cylindrical. But they're all the same color blue. So that's a very pretty one. And then here is another one. This one was also a dollar. I thought I had another one. I guess not. Um, I thought I had a. I thought I bought a little ring, but I thought about buying it, but then I, I think I actually put it back. Um, I don't know. But yeah, here, this necklace is really neat. Um, this one has sort of um a light. Uh, bluish green color to the beads. They are glass. Same closure. And it has this large metallic piece down here at the bottom. It's hollow. It's really pretty. Kind of looks like a little UFO or something. <laughs> but it's really pretty. So you have these two strands that come down together right here. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful color. I just love that. So that was my, those were my jewelry finds. And then I found this plate. Look at this pretty plate. It has this gold rim around it. It's very beautiful. I don't know what kind of bird that is, honestly. I have no idea. It was a dollar. I'll take the price tag off. It's, it's just a lovely plate. I almost want to display this somewhere. It's so pretty. Um, the cool thing about it to me, I figured it would be made um, in Japan or something like that. This plate was actually made in Arsberg, Germany. Um, E and R, Golden Crown, E and R. I have no idea. I don't know um, all that. I don't understand all that, but it was, it's German. I thought that was really cool. I don't think I've ever found a plate like this that was German. So that was really interesting to me. It has these beautiful flowers. The little bird perched up there. It's so pretty. It's in perfect shape. There are no chips, no flaws, no scratches, nothing. It's very pretty. Oh, this one is not meant to be funny, but I'm going to tell you what I thought the first, the moment I saw it. And this is jade. It's very heavy. It's a little decorative piece. Um, it was three dollars. Now, if you look at it, I'm going to try to put it where you can see the light reflecting on it. Okay, just look at this profile right here with this up here. Does this make you think of anybody? <laughs> it made me think of um, Beavis from Beavis and Butthead when he would pull his shirt up over his head and be Cornholio. That's exactly <laughs> the first thing I thought of when I saw this. It's like he looks like Beavis. <laughs> Oh my god, I know I know that's not what it is. If I keep this, it will forever be the Beavis decorative piece. It will be the Beavis statue. Because it looks like Cornholio. Cornholio. But it's it's really heavy. It is a lovely piece of jade. I mean look look at that. And it was only three dollars. But yeah, it's it's Beavis. Yeah, that's that's it. That's all. It's Beavis. Oh, and this. I don't know how old this is. Um, it is a hand-painted flower vase. This was $3. Um, and that thing is really on there. And it was made in China back when that was not something that indicated it was a mass-produced cheap thing from Walmart. I guess this was a selling point at that time. This was made in China and hand painted there. Um, and it's it's still in the original box. Elegant for indoor decoration, deluxe and valuable for gifts. That's what it says. I'll show you that little the vase. Still in its box. It is really pretty. See, it has, looks like grapes or flowers or something coming down. It's a very nice, very nice vase. It has just the flat bottom to it. Very nice, graceful shape to it. And then the back is just plain. It's not painted back there. But it really is pretty. I do like it. It's very very pretty. I like the colors. You have the dark green and then the lighter green down here, like that. And the pink and purple. It's really cool. But I, I would say it's probably from the 60s or 70s, but I, I honestly don't know. There's no date or anything on it. There's no barcode on it, so um, yeah, I, I don't know. So that was only that was only three dollars. I thought it was really cool that it was still in the original box. So there's my hand painted flower vase from China. 
and I had one more thing to show you. I found a cute little basket. This was only 50 cents. There's a little sticker in there. I just thought this was a cool basket. You can see down here, it's a different type of material. It's woven together, it's braided, and then woven into the basket down at the bottom. And then you have the bottom of the basket here woven with this material. And the nice little handle that it has. It's just like a cute little rectangular basket. You may see this again. I'm not going to say when or where or why, but you may see this again. I don't know yet, actually, but you might. I actually bought it for a specific purpose, but I can't tell you what. I've been looking for a basket like this, so I was really happy to find one. It's very lightweight, but it's in good shape. It doesn't look like it's broken or damaged in any way. And it was only 50 cents. So that, I believe that is everything I purchased today. I think I did really well. I'm very glad that I went to the church yard sale. I went for a couple of years and didn't go. Um, I just kind of forgot about it for a little while. But I'm going to start trying to go again. So, because I always find such great things there. So, thank you so much for coming to see all my wonderful yard sale goodies. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I will see you again really soon.